you know? And I mean, that's to me, the people, I, I'd say to them, the simplest thing, cast that wide net and always, 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 you know, surround yourself with people that you admire and aspire to. Like, if you, they, like Chris said, they do something you can't do, you know, and if you want to learn how to do, and then again, man, don't let, you know, don't let me fool you. I was heartbroken. And the, those of you that, few of you that might know me from, I was in a band called What It Is. It's this funk band. It's real popular here in the 90s. And they were like, if you've ever heard of Jamiroquai or bands like, uh, I'm trying to, those, it's an amazing band. The guitar player from it, Avi Bordnick, is actually plays with the jazz musicians from John Schofield. And every guy in the band was just stellar. I mean, I really felt like I was the weakest link as a player. And yet, in that band, people always told us, like, oh man, we you know, really like Tom as your drummer and stuff. Well, they, our lead singer, and got with the producer and said, you know, they kept, when we were out in California, and they were like, you know, I just don't like the way Tom plays. Tom's too fusiony, you know. Because he, he was right. I didn't know the I didn't know the repertoire. I didn't really know Curtis Mayfield like down deep, you know. Jeff would have been the drummer for that band. You kill that gig, <laughs> you know. And that's that's the thing. And and but you know, as Chris said, it, it was a beautiful thing to happen to me. It hurt like hell. Pardon me, my language, but it did. You know, it sucks to be let go of something. But the coolest thing was that. The guys were, they saw that I was genuinely like, you know, man, I, I, what am I not doing here? You know, like, Tom, dude, by all means, hang at the sessions, you know, do the thing. I became friends with the producer who was replacing me, and he's the guy that, like, co-wrote all of Mariah Carey's early big hits. So, I mean, it's not like getting, you know, I wasn't getting thrown out for, you know, like, the B-grade guy. This guy's an amazing drummer. You know what happened? The funniest thing of the whole thing of it? Turns out he was really killer at these styles, like, kind of parliament funkadelic and real big, funky couldn't do the acid jazz, the kind of funkified New Orleans-y thing that I do. And and I wasn't even that into that at that time, but I already had that little niche. And so they were like, you know, him, he, you know, man, guys, Tom should really, he should put Tom on these other five tracks. Now, if I pouted and stormed out of there, I never would have been on the album. So instead, I'm still, I did the whole first album, and I'm on half of the second album. And actually, the guys came away, and him, the producers, going, man, it's like, dude, you know, because I immediately started copping what he was doing. By the end of about a week of recording, they were teasing me. They're like, good Lord, Ben Jr., his name is Ben Margulies. Because I started, I was like Chris said, I am. I'm Austin, man. I'm not, the, I'm not the most gifted guy, but I'll darn sure, man. You challenge me, I'm coming after him. I'm, you know, I have people always talk about Danny Werfel, quarterback. Spurrier, yeah, you know, not much quarterback or anything. But boy, put him on the field in the game, he'll rip you up. You know, he's an assassin. But they'll help you up in the end game. Hey, nice to meet you. I'd like to be like that. You know, you look at Tim Tebow, you look at people like that, you like, you hope you can be in some small way. You know, you look at that guy, like, good Lord, man, are you for real? You know, too good to be true. But if you can take a little bit of that positivity and that ability to get past yourself, and don't get, Chris knows, everyone knows me. I, pal, Tobin's have to listen to my tirades. I, I give me three minutes, I act like a total idiot. The fourth minute, I'm so sorry, and I like, that's when, like, who I believe to be the real me starts showing up. Okay? And I know most adults can attest, we've all been there in some capacity. I love, I look at Tobin, he's the most patient guy I've ever met. I'm just like, dude, you're, you're, you're a saint. You know, that's, that's the thing that, again, it's a, it's a skill. It's a learning skill. Just like you're asking about music and about doing this, if you want to be a professional musician, it's, again, you've got to do the homework. You've got to do this. If you're not doing your research, if I honestly throw out a bunch of names, if you're saying, I want to be a professional working musician, meaning I want to derive my income from being a player, I'm going to get a lot less touchy-feely. This thing will be for the parents or anything. It's going to be a lot more of, you better get ready. This is competitive. You're up against me. You're up against him. We're coming to get you. It's just like working as a doctor. You want to go to med school? You better be the best. Or guess what? You're going to get relegated to the secondary ranks. You might do, you know, you, you know. And that is that's cold blooded, guys. But that's that's. There's a lot of positives. But there, there's a big difference of the love of music and the commerce of music. Music is a ruthless, ruthless business. I mean, there's no two ways about it. Me, you know, tell you watch VH1 <laughs> behind the music. Yeah, you know, every story. But that doesn't mean it has to be in terms of your personal. They can't take that from you. Your music is your music. You just understand that if you want to make a living with it, that's kind of the, the unsavory part. You know, I and, and, uh, Yeah, what was it? Music is a, uh, a, a, a toast, something, some sort of corridor with corpses of many good men laying bloodied on the side of the walls, you know, and there's also a downside. Yeah. <laughs> 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 a road, my road manager has that quote on the bottom of when he sends us emails. It's got that exact quote, and it is the truth. I, the business side of it, but the beauty of it is too for all the all the you know every one of us that plays. I mean, when you play at your church, when you play with your friends, you play that gig on the weekends. You do, and man, and you know, people, you see people dancing and loving what you're doing. And no manager, nobody can take that from you. And don't. And I never buy the you know like you say from. I, Tobin started that by saying just a guy here in Gainesville. Well, I'm still just a guy here in Gainesville tomorrow. I don't know. I may go to Tallahassee tonight for my gig. 
and I really don't know. I have no control. Bucky may have woken up this morning and gone, I want a new drummer. You know, hey, it happens. It will probably, it will definitely happen in my life plenty more times. And hopefully, God willing, I get to be around for a while. You know, Chris and I, that's how, that's how we look at it. That's why we do things like our power triplets thing. Because nobody can take that from us. You know, Chris knows. I dig his music and what he makes. And that's, and he lets me be Tom. I just get to be goofy and crazy. Well, I know you got to get crazy. Yeah, I know. I need to shut up. up but <coughs> whatever final words you might have. And maybe we can. Leave that CD with me? Oh, of course, yeah. Okay. Chris, do you mind we'll if I leave it? Yeah. All right, cool. I just know him. He's like, um, got 18 mixes still to come. <laughs> <laughs> we, we definitely expect to have Tom back, do more stuff like this in the future. I uh, hope that you will come back. Please tell everybody in games or whatever you're going to hear us do your profession. Nobody's doing anything like this for drummers in our area. This is the only place that's doing it. And it's not going to continue to grow and prosper unless you guys support it. Um, this happened today because of things that Tom's done, things that I've done, things that even Jeff has done, who's been in Gainesville for a long time playing drums. Not necessarily in the business that we're doing, but you know, just everyday people doing their part. Um, Tom, I'll let you wrap up. Yeah. I remember. That was, I would just, the same thing. One thing just as a, I know I've spoken to Tom and I've talked to some, but one of the things that we, I'm trying to do is to, my, Chris, myself, a lot of our you know, professional friends, I'm hoping to do anytime in the future. I mean, you've heard enough out of me. I'd like to do some joint things with people that I know you guys would probably just flip to see. You know, I've got a Bible phone player who I was going to talk to Tobin about. He's an amazing, amazing guy down in South Florida. Maybe get him up here next year. The drummer for uh, Jay, uh, Jason Aldean. Uh, if any of you know country at all, he's a, big, he's a big act. But this guy, Rich Redmond, went to North Texas. He's an unbelievable drummer. So that's what we're hoping. You know, I've talked to him about getting people in to be, do some kind of joint thing like we did with Jim Payne, that sort of thing. Other than that, I just, again, I can't thank you guys enough for being so patient. I know I know some of the stuff starts going, you know, just like uh, all over the place. But I hope you hope you got something out of it. You know, very, thank you very much. Real quick. Yeah, yeah. Heard about who you mentioned earlier. Yeah. Eric Bingham. Yeah. He called and said he wants to do Devil Went Down with Georgia. I don't. I wouldn't be honest. I'm challenged. I know. I'm like, I, I wouldn't know what really where to begin because it's an art from line thing. <laughs> That's but you know what I'm talking. About. Yeah. No. It's I, I, it's funny because it goes back. He's talking about like when we had a drum solo in high school. We did like tenors and stuff. But to be, be honest, I wouldn't even know where to begin. I, although I did hear someone playing it last night. The band that opened up for us at my gig in Sarasota said. <laughs> Oh man, no, I appreciate it. That's it. Eric is another guy. Again, that's a biggie for all you guys. That's what I'd say. Just again, you know, look around at your friends and your peers, you know, if you're in middle school, high school, you know, college with, you know, whatever. I mean, you know, really appreciate it because you're going to probably start to see as you go along through life, you start looking back and realize, wow, man, that person was a major impact on you. You know, and you don't remember the times that you butted heads over anything. All you remember is the influence they had on you, you know, and the positive. Hopefully, you know, so, yeah, that's, you know, that's a, the positive spin. So and thank you guys. That's I really appreciate it. it, it Which drum is your snare drum? Mm -hmm. Which drum's your tom tom? Your high tom tom? Sure. Which one's your low tom tom? Where's your, where's your bass drum? Mm -hmm. 